Hello students, let us learn general science from the book Science Squared for class 5. Let us learn chapter 6, the atmosphere. In this chapter, we shall discuss about the structure and composition of air, uses and properties of air, applications of air pressure, comparison of respiration and breathing. Let us look into the chapter. The earth is surrounded by a thick layer of gaseous envelope for about 800 to 1000 kilometers. This layer is known as atmosphere. It contains mixture of gases in different concentration. Nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, carbon dioxide 1%. The atmosphere is held around the earth by its gravity. It sends back most of the immense heat and harsh light of sun rays into space. It does not allow the heat of the earth to escape easily during the night. Therefore, plants and animals can survive on the earth. There is no atmosphere on the moon. It is too hot during the day and too cold at night. Therefore, plants or animals cannot survive in the moon. Let us now learn about different layers of atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of five different vertical layers namely troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Troposphere is the most important layer which is close to the earth. It extends to a height of 13 to 15 kilometers from the surface of the earth. It has the air which we breathe. It determines the type of weather such as rainfall, hailstorms, etc. The next layer to the troposphere is its stratosphere, which extends to a height of 50 kilometers. These are free from clouds and weather phenomena. Hence, it is ideal for flying aeroplanes. The unique feature of this layer is that it contains a layer of ozone gas. Ozone protects us from the harmful UV rays that is ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. Beyond the stratosphere are three layers called mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Let us learn the composition of air or atmosphere. The gaseous mixture of the troposphere is called air. Air is mainly composed of Oxygen 20.94%, Nitrogen 78.08%, Carbon Dioxide 0.03% and other gases like Neon and Argon 0.95%. The diagram shows you the pie chart of composition of air. In addition to these gases, air also contains 
variable amount of water vapor. The presence of excess of water vapor in the air makes it humid. The amount of water vapor contained in the air is called humidity. Many weather conditions depends on the water vapor. Dust, smoke, bacteria, virus and pollen particles are also found in the air in very small and variable quantities. Let us learn the uses of air. Oxygen is used to burn the food inside the body to release energy. The process of burning takes place only in the presence of oxygen. Animals and plants need nitrogen but they cannot take it directly from the air. Some bacteria that leaves in the root of the plant makes the insoluble form of nitrogen into soluble form for plants. Animals take this nitrogen from the plants. Green plants prepare their food from carbon dioxide and water in presence of sunlight. Animals breathe in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide thereby maintaining the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air. Neon and argon produce orange or fluorescent green glow in electric tube called neon signs. Let us learn the properties of air. Air occupies space. It is used to inflate balloons, tubes or tires, football and air pillows. Air has weight. We can feel it. Moving air has some force. It can push things such as parachute, sailboat, windmill, etc. The pressure exerted by the weight of air on the earth's surface is known as air pressure. Air exerts pressure on us with a great force. But we don't even feel it. This is because the air presses us from all directions and our body exerts a counter pressure. Let us learn the experiment 1 to show that the air exerts a downward pressure and can be transferred to all directions. Fill a glass with water up to the brim without any air bubbles. Cover the top of the glass with a thin cardboard. Hold the glass with one hand at the bottom and press the cardboard with the another at the top as shown in the figure. Now turn the glass upside down holding the cardboard. Gently remove your hand from the cardboard. You will observe that the cardboard will not fall. This is because the air exerts pressure on the cardboard in the upward direction while the glass on the glass it is in the downward direction. Let us perform experiment 2 to show that air pushes the liquids to move upward. Take any cold drink in a glass. 
put a straw in it and suck the air out of from the straw. You will observe that the cold drink move upwards. This is because the air pressure inside the straw is less than the air pressure outside. Therefore, the outside air pressure forces the cold drink to go up through the straw in the upward direction. Let us learn the applications of air pressure. Fountain pen. Fountain pen has a rubber tube inside it which is pressed to force the air out. The air pressure on the ink outside pushes the ink into the tube. Syringe. When the plunger is pushed inside, the air inside is forced out. When the plunger is pulled out, the air pressure pushes the medicine into the empty space. Dropper. On pressing the rubber bulb, the air is pushed out, which escapes out through the liquid as bubbles. When the bulb is released, the air pressure forces the liquid to enter the dropper. Water pump or lift pump. Water pump is used to lift water from the well or to pump out from the ground water. It has a cylinder with tight fitting piston. The piston is attached to a handle. The pump has two valves. One is a foot valve and the other is a piston valve. Both can open upwards only. In position 1, the both the valves that is V1 and V2 are closed. In position 2, the handle is moved downwards. This makes the piston valve to move upwards. The air pressure inside the pump is reduced. Air pressure acts upon the water outside and so the foot valve opens to allow the water to rush above the valve. In position 3, the handle is moved upwards. The piston, piston moves downwards. Water closes the foot valve and water cannot go back. The air pressure of water opens the piston valve upward and the water rises up over the piston. In position 4, on moving the, hand, the handle downwards again, the piston moves upwards, piston valve closes and the piston pushes the water above it to go out through the spout. At the same time, the pressure decreases within the cylinder and so the foot valve opens allowing more water to rush in. Thus the water is drawn up with repeated strokes of the piston moving up and down. Water cannot be lifted more than 1034 cm high. This is because the air pressure is equal to the pressure of 1034 cm height of water column.
siphon. Siphon is a tube which is made of glass, rubber or plastic. It is used to transfer a liquid without tilting the containers. Generally, liquids flow from higher level to a lower level. Therefore, we place the receiver vessels at the lower level than the container level. Take a siphon and dip the one end of the tube completely in the container vessel and dip the other end partially in the receiver vessel. Hold the tube gently. In the figure, the container vessel has been kept at the eye position while the receiver vessel has been kept below in a lower position. Siphon tube is connected between the container vessel and the receiver vessel. Close the end of the tube of the receiver vessel with your thumb and finger tightly. You will notice that the liquid comes up inside the tube at the other end from the container vessel. Gently release the thumb by placing the tube onto the receiver vessel. Air pressure acts on the surface of the liquid at a higher level and pushes it down through the siphon tube. To stop the flow, close and lift the other higher than the higher level of the liquid. Release the thumb to let the air pressure work to push the liquid down. Thus, the tube is empty. Breathing and respiration. Breathing is a continuous process which involves inhalation and exhalation. Respiration is a burning process in which food is broken down in the living cells to release energy. Breathing is a physical process whereas respiration is a biochemical process. Breathing uses the energy obtained from the food whereas respiration releases the energy from the food. Breathing takes place in the lungs, whereas respiration takes place in the living cells. Let us perform an experiment for burning. Take a water tub and stick a candle on a wooden piece in the middle of the tub. Pour water in the water tub. Light the candle and close the burning candle with a graduated jar in an inverted position as shown in the figure. Note the water level in the jar. After some time, you can notice that the flame of the candle goes off and so water enters into the jar occupying one fifth of its space. This shows that any object upon burning uses one fifth part of the air. Let us look into the chapter recap. The gaseous envelope covering the earth is called the atmosphere. The atmosphere has five layers. Air is a mixture of many gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, 
neon, argon and water vapor. Air occupies space and has a weight. Air exerts pressure in all directions. The air pushes the liquids to move in fountain pen, syringe, dropper, water pump and siphon. Respiration is a slow burning of food in the living cells. This ends the chapter 6.